In this lesson, we'll continue to work with the Pi system data and build off the groundwork we laid in Lesson 3. The North Dakota overview display provided visibility into our operations from a very high level. But now we'd like to take a microscope to this by building out a screen specific to our oil wells, the most discrete production component we have data for. Throughout this process, we'll review working with text boxes to provide a descriptive title for our display, and we'll introduce static shapes that can be used in a variety of ways to enhance your display's content. We'll work extensively with the most fundamental data symbol, the value, and explore how we can customize the information it displays. Lastly, we'll touch on collections and context switching to exemplify the versatility and dynamism of even the simplest of displays. Before we start, it's important to know what a symbol collection is. A symbol collection is a group of one or more static and dynamic symbols that are extended to a predefined set of assets. Each asset is represented by its own copy of the symbol group. The collection of assets can be defined in several ways, with the most common being like assets or those built from the same asset template. The collection may also be defined by asset name masking, and additional filters may be applied to further define the assets represented, such as those currently in a downtime state or those that have met their production quotas for the month. Symbol collections are dynamic, which means that the assets that they can display change in real time. When assets that meet the collection's criteria are added or removed from your asset framework, the collection will expand or contract in response to those changes. Likewise, collections that track the status of a group of assets will flex as assets enter or exit the predefined state. 